Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm talking tonight, it's night time over here, so I've got the little terrace in bed. Um, hubby's away in the truck, he's a truck driver, so he's gone to Perth tonight to pick up some liquid fertiliser. Um, so yeah, I thought, hey, let's do some videos tonight on little bits and pieces that I don't have to paint my face. Um, so I thought, sponges. So I'm going to tell you about um, what type of sponges I have, um, why I like them, why I dislike them, what I keep them in, um, how I clean them, and that's pretty much it. So um, it's supposed to be summertime over here, but it's not. It's freezing and it's raining today, so I'm all rugged up cozy after having a shower. So excuse my ragged hair and um, and stuff. Cool. You guys are probably in your jammies too. So um, wash bags. Bought from a like two dollar shop. Ours is called Zany Zaniacs in Katanning. You could use bra bags. Um, oh, anything like that. I think they even make ones with hangers already in them um, for like your peg bags and stuff like that. But it's not like a, um, a dislike straight up would be that um, it's easy to be ripped. I just ripped a hole in to put my coat hanger through. Um, just like when you rip your orange bags over when you buy oranges in a bag. This isn't as plasticky as that stuff. It is more of a thread material, but they are easily broken. But hey, they only cost me a dollar, so hmm, who cares? Um, so they have a zip. They're about 45 centimeters long, maybe 40. Um, a little bit longer than a ruler anyway. Um, so I just ripped a hole in the top for my coat hanger, but I'll just take that out. So they're just a rectangle. Um, they're quite kind of long. I'd say they're probably 50 centimeters long, maybe 60. So um, plenty of space for all my sponges. If you're someone that um, likes to use a different sponge for every child, um, these are probably pretty good. You can fit a lot in there. You can see what's hanging at the bottom of your bag. Um, that's another, that's actually a like about the bags. Um, uh, I have a lot of tag daubers and stuff like that. Um, so when I, when I use my bucket, trying to, you know, fish out a certain sponge or a stipple sponge, because I only have two of those, so one in each of our bags, um, yeah, and you're trying to find it at the bottom of the bucket, and all my sponges would spew out everywhere onto the ground, so if you're in dirt at a show or something like that, then you have to wipe everything off your sponges, and, and then I'd have a dirty bucket for my sponges as well that would just sit underneath the case next to my rubbish bin, and, um... People would mistake that as like a bin for their drinks and things like that at shows. So that could have been annoying. So I really like the bag idea. So if you guys have got any questions or anything on the bags or or um, would like me to get you some of these bags from my shop, um, um, I reckon I'd be able to wrap this up into a small envelope. So it would probably be like two bucks postage. So it would only be cheap. And yeah, I'm pretty sure they're a dollar or two dollars each. So if you would like me to get you some, if you think that's an idea you'd like to try, I don't mind, that is fine. I'm happy to help. So this is my bag. Um, Francis has got one exactly the same. And um, I've already opened it to fish around in here and find all my stuff. So first of all, what I have in the top of my bag, or well, actually it's at the top, I lay it across my case so my glitters, just in case they fall into my wet paint, um, I don't have to clean it when I open it. It doesn't look yucky. So it's just an Enyo cloth, but a tea towel, hand towel, flannel, anything like that would do the same job. And I like to take a towel to one, uh, if I have to wash my hands after dealing with a yucky face or anything like that, um, or just wanting to wash my hands or all the paint off. Um, this dries, the Enyo is really great, like it, it's great for drying. It's like a tea towel, you'll still have a bit of a wet effect, this like absorbs just like that. So um, if you guys don't, don't know what Enyo is, get on the website and have a look. It is expensive like Tupperware, um, so you've got your good Tupperware and then you've got your Tupperware brand like um, warranty, good product, can't go wrong. So it's a bit the same for cleaning products and these are like a chamois type of cloth but it's a microfiber, it's not a, a spongy. So it's kind of big, I'm thinking this is actually the outdoor one you get. Um, but yeah, so I use it for my drying and also if I make a mistake on a face or you're doing a half face and you forgot to leave the mouth area open for your hulk or something like that. Um, get a wet brush. Where's my wet? Where's the brush? Get a wet brush. Do what you have to do. Um, rub it over the area and mark out. Um, okay, I'll try and explain this easy. Um, 
on Fabber TV, there's a guy called Dutch, awesome face painter. He's really cool. He's got funky red hair. Awesome. It's kind of bulk. Um, he showed a tip on one of his classes on Fabber TV. Um, he wanted to put a horn or a tooth in or something and all the face was covered with paint. So he grabbed a wet brush. He drew out what he wanted or did the horn or whatever it was. And then he grabbed just a tea towel or I think he just had some um, paper towel there. Dabbed it. Um, just lightly onto where he wet with the brush, so he reacted. He reactivated the paint with the the wet brush. Took the um, only dabbed it once and took it off, and pretty much all the paint had transferred onto the towel, and he was left with a perfect horn shape or whatever shape that he drew out with his wet clean um, brush. So I thought that was a really awesome tip to share with you guys tonight. Um, I've done it quite a couple of times when I forgot to put my teeth marks in or oh I need to put a horn there whoops i um, done the whole wet brush thing and it really works it's awesome then you can go over with any color and it doesn't transfer or you don't get the yellow come through your teeth or pink or red or whatever color you've had underneath so great for drying your hands um, cleaning up accidents anything like to have a bit of a towel on hand and um, you don't have to keep it in your sponge bag or your sponge bucket keep it in your car or wherever you want but a good idea to have um, a drying implement on hand now the type of sponges that I have are wolf sponges. These are the number one number one sponges I actually bought because my first book I ever bought for face painting was um, the Extreme Face Painting by Nick and Brian Wolf. Um, so I've got two wolf sponges here. As you can see, they're a little bit different color and a little bit different in um, sort of softness and holy uh, holy areas roughness. Um, these ones I bought from America from the Wolf Brothers site. It cost me a bit in postage, but I bought like 60 or 70 or something sponges. It was something ridiculous because I thought I was going to need a lot of sponges. And I have used them all anyway. So I think it cost me like 40 bucks in postage. But buying 60 Wolf sponges over here at the time, um, it was going to be, I think it was going to be $10 more. So I actually saved myself like 10 or 20 bucks by buying them over there. So um, I think they were only sort of like 60 or 70 cents for a whole wolf sponge as they come in holes, they weren't cut. Um, whereas I think over here they're like $1.50 or is it $2.50 for one? I, could, I can't remember. So maybe if you guys know how much they are for a whole wolf sponge um, over here in Australia or compared to America for people that want to have a look, um, put it in the comments below for us um, so we can have a looky. So there's the two sponges there. A reason um, they're a little bit different for starters, uh, as I said before, these ones are holy. They've still got the rounded tops and bottoms um, and they look the same there. These ones are larger colour, I don't think that really matters, but these are a little bit smoother if you're going to wipe anything down um, instead of stippling. But if you use your paint a little bit wet on the wolf sponges compared to um, more denser type of small um, holy sponges, um, you, do, you do get like a rough effect, which I like for my monsters, skulls, um, anything sort of cool like that. So um, I use these a lot for my... Um, my shadowing for my skulls, temple marks, um, jawline shadowing and stuff like that. I love these for that. Um, dislikes about them would be that um, the roughness, I would say. A couple of kids I have painted, I've been in a hurry and I'll quickly wipe the paint on. Um, it does hurt a little bit, especially eyes, sensitive areas. And if I've practiced on myself a lot, um, I'll tend to not use these because I can feel it more, um, it aggravates my skin a bit more. But these ones from that I got from in Australia, they're not as bad, but not as soft as the ones I get from Always Wicked Art or Paradise Sponges. They're very soft as well. They're green with a rounded edge. They're very soft as well. So that would be the only dislike for them. Um, I'll show you my Always Wicked Art ones first. So always wick it out, sponge, very, very small holes, very soft. Um, and they've got their mini petites, which are exactly the same density. They're just smaller. So that's the size comparison. I think I've showed you in other videos and compared to the wolf sponge. So it's pretty, they're all the same size. So um, really nice and soft. If you do like to wipe your designs on, these are great. They don't hurt the eyelids or any sensitive areas. 
Um, yeah, really cool, easy to clean. Um, every single sponge I've ever owned, um, my green stains, my pink shimmer from my tag actually stains. And a purple, I think, is the only other colour that I find that stains. Blue comes out fine. Um, every sponge I've ever owned, I've had a few brands, um, they've all stained the same. So, um, yeah, can't help you there. <laughs> so, um, where was I? Um, things I hate about these would only be um, that because they're square. So, when you do want to have a nice rounded, I've got a pinch, I get paint on my fingers. Um, but that would be the only thing that I just like about these. Same with the petite sponges, only because they're square. So it would be cool to be able to have square ones. And it would be cool if um, Robin might be able to make some rounded ones for us. Maybe that could be the next thing. So, but other than that, love, love, love these sponges. And I actually think Lisa Joy Young um, comments on these in her witch hat tutorial. Might be a different one on YouTube. And she compliments Always Wicked Art for their awesome sponges. So check that out and watch that tutorial. Um, she's an awesome face painter if you want someone to look up to. Um, what else have I got in here? The, um, so as you can see, my pink stains. So always Wicked Art Petal Sponges, awesome. These are my latest edition. I've just recently sort of um, bought 10 tonne off Robin. Well, not 10 tonne, but I bought a few packets. They come in a pack of six for about $5.50, I think it is. So they're not that expensive. They're pretty cool priced. And they are, in comparison to size, pretty much the same as the little mini petty ones, petite ones, sorry. Um, nice and dense, just like the green ones. Um, beautiful and soft, different. You could pinch them like that so you can still get rounded effects. Um, but I bought these solely for my butterfly wings because they're quick and easy, bang, bang, and you got a butterfly on, which you'll see from the butterfly tutorial when it eventually uploads. Um, so, yeah, great. The only dislike would be they do hold a lot of soap because they are kind of thick. Uh, how can I show you? They're kind of a thick sponge. So only because they're quite thick, they hold a lot of um, a lot of soap when I wash them, but it only takes a couple more se seconds squeezing it out underneath my tap and it's out anyway. So it's not a very big dislike. That would be only one. But I suppose they're thicker because they are littler, so you don't get as much paint over your fingers either because you've got plenty of space. If you've got fat fingers like me, um, or, or if you're someone with really long nails, you've got more space in your sponge to hold without digging on people's eyes. Um, I thought I had a Paradise sponge in here to show you, but I don't. But pretty much um, I bought a couple of Paradise sponges. They're beautiful and soft too. Really nice. Same colour. The only difference is their edges are rounded, so that's kind of cool. So if you guys were looking into buying some Paradise sponges, I recommend those as well. They're really lovely um, and they have the rounded curved edge so it's not so harsh and square. Um, daubers, I just buy tag daubers because they're cheap. Um, I did buy some plastic ones quite a while ago. They broke. A um, few people have um, whinged about these. Well, not whinged, but, you know, um, because the glue comes off. You can see one of mine starting to come off here. But um, I'm naughty. I put mine in the dryer. Um, yeah, I know. I'm super lazy. Um, so I wash all my sponges out with soap really thoroughly first, try and get all the skin fibres and stuff out and all the paint out, of course. Um, then I put them in the washing machine with a bit of nappy sand and just some spray fab, um, what is it, Omo, whatever you have. Um, I don't put a lot in there, but just a little bit. Um, and I like using the nappy sand because it's kind of like a bacterial. Like I use that when my kids spew and stuff like that. I always use the nappy sand. Well, that's what mum always did to us, so I'm just doing what mum says. So I chuck them in the washing machine as well. That gives them one extra sort of wash, only a small cycle. Um, and sometimes I just wash all of them, even though they're, they're already clean. I haven't used them all, just to give them a fresh smell. And um, and I rinse them really well as well in the washing machine so they don't have bits of um, soap or anything left in them, just in case some kid reacts. So And then I chuck them in the dryer, and I haven't had one come off yet. So um, mine, these have probably been through the dryer like not a million times, but a lot, a lot of times, and none's come off yet. So... The only problem I find is my son, if he gets his hand on these, he eats them. He pulls the top off, so that's kind of annoying. But they're $4.50. Um, I think, I don't know if you get another one in the pack, but pretty much all your different sizes. Um, big one pretty much covers my full eye if you want a comparison the size. And the smallest one, there, that's having the smallest one. It's almost fit up my nostril. So um, one thing I hate about these is the harder you press, you can feel the wood 
can feel that bit of wood. Um, big one's not so bad. The smaller one, I actually, I think I only really use the smaller one quite a bit. Um, and I use like using them for smiley faces. That's hell easy. So if you guys want to know how to do smiley faces, chuck your door in a, a split, uh, one stroke cake, dab it on, give it a slight turn, only like a quarter of the way, lift it off, and you get a cool spirally effect. Draw some dots and a smiley face. Bang, you got a smiley face for those mothers that have like a newborn baby and want paint on them. So. But yeah, the only thing I hate about these is I can feel the wood if you're pressing quite hard. So that would kind of hurt if you accidentally fell into someone's face or, you know, like, yeah, on the sensitive areas. So um, I'd really like to get my hands on some Martha Stewart daubers. So if anybody's got any of those and uses them for stenciling and things like that, I'd love to hear in your comments how you think they are, um, how much they were, what their prices, where you got them from. Um, um, yeah, I'd really like to know because um, I'd like to get my hand on a set of those and test those out. So likes and dislikes for Martha Stewart daubers would be much appreciated. Thumbs up. And that's pretty much all I have in my... Oh, one more. A stipple one for pirate beards. Uh, you could use it for light um, highlights over skulls, scary faces, things like that. It's kind of like, um, it's not like a material, it's more like a plasticky kind of sponge. Oh, that's dirty actually. Actually, I might be able to show you. Good for scraping effects. So if you want to do, like get into the FX side of things um, with blood and gore and all that type of cool stuff, a scraping effect as if you were dragged behind a car. That looks, they're really cool for that. So have a play around with how wet you have your paint and how dry you have your paint because um, they can be a bit funny to work with. Um, but they do cool effects. So um, yeah, try those ones out. Um, I think I just bought like a pack of two or three that I think they came with or you buy them singly. Um, but yeah, I've had mine since, um, I actually bought these last year before I started face painting. I bought all my stuff first. So um, I haven't used them terribly a lot, but yeah, they've lasted fine. So that's pretty much all I have in my bag of goodies. Um, also, you can see from my bag, guys, that um, my heavy stuff does fall down the bottom, but it's really easy for me to find what I like. And I can't even see that and pull something out that I want. So um, test out your bags if you want to give them a shot. Like I said, if you want me to buy one for you, I can do that and send it over. Um, they're pretty cheap, so... Um, like, uh, put some comments down below if you want to know any of my, or if you've got any questions or if you want to know anything else about my sponges and things like that. I might do a tutorial um, with sponges again, um, using them wet, dry for stenciling and all that type of stuff well if anybody is interested. So hope you get something out of this guys and again this is just what I have in my kit and what I've, I've experienced. Um, and at the moment I don't think I'll be buying any other sponges except for the ones that I have. I'm really happy with the the brand of sponges that I have, um, they sort of do the job. So, yeah, I hope you get something out of it and um, and keep watching my videos. Okay, guys, good night. Bye.